So today, guys, we have a little bit uh, more of a strength-oriented workout. So it's going to be a little more uh, uh, wear and tear on the muscles and a little bit less wear and tear on the joints. Um, hopefully, you guys will have a good time with it. Um, it will not be easy. But we have a little bit longer explanation today, so I'm going to try and uh, get through some of this that doesn't need quite as much explanation. A little bit quicker and get to the other stuff. Um, it would take a little bit more time, but um, if you haven't gotten into your uh, mobility uh, warm-up, please do so. Again, check the YouTube page. We have two that I like to use quite a bit. One is a quadruped and one is a standing. Um, just to make sure the joints are good and mobile, make sure everything's nice and juicy and kind of ready to move. Cool. After that, we have a couplet. <clears throat> our first, our, for our acclimation, right? So our first couplet, we're going to get down into a, a beast position, right? So from there, what that looks like is we're going to come down here on all fours, I'm, my knees are not on the floor. My knees are directly beneath my hips. My hands are directly beneath my shoulders. We're basically just gonna draw some circles, right? So left and right, right and left, left and right, right and left. We're just gonna kind of walk ourselves around in a big circle. Cool? You get the idea. Anyway, so from your start point, you're gonna go all the way around once, all the way around twice. Then you're gonna turn around and go the other direction, all the way around once, all the way around twice. That's round one. And if you start to get dizzy, of course, stop, reorient yourself and things like that. Hopefully you won't get too bad, but. Cool, from there. The next thing we do is we call this a rising clamshell. So from the bottom end here, I'm on my elbow, I got a long position. From my hips, I got, I got a 45 degree angle. My knees have a 45 degree angle. From here, I'm gonna keep my feet touching. I'm gonna open my knees as far as I can get them, right? So you're gonna cause some pressure in the glutes. From there, we're actually gonna rise up and press our hips forward, right? Rise up, press hips forward as far as we can. Now we're creating much more pressure in the glutes, a lot more pressure in the abdomen. We're gonna drive them back and down, all the way back and down. Press them up really tall, all the way back and down, and so on. We have 10 reps on your right. Flip over, 10 reps on your left. That is your first couplet. We're going through three rounds of that. Cool, so like all the way around twice, all the way around twice, 10 and 10. Cool. For our next piece, we need some sort of a weight. Um, I'm gonna use a kettlebell here real quick, but I'm not gonna hang on to it by the handle. I'm gonna hang on to it by the base. I'm just gonna use it to kind of balance up there. But we have what we call a Turkish get up. With a Turkish get up, what we're trying to do is from a lying position flat on the floor, and this uh, it's gonna be my right arm straight up, my right foot is gonna be flat, my left arm is gonna be extended straight out, my right uh, left foot is gonna be straight, uh, extended straight down. From here, we're gonna get up into a standing position, keeping this arm nice and long, cool? So again, I'm gonna balance this guy over the shoulder, keep my shoulder active, keep my lat active. I'm gonna keep all of this nice and strong, not just trying to let it flop around, right? So keep it strong, stable, and steady. From here, I'm gonna push through my right foot, roll up onto my left elbow. Cool. Again, my arm is still straight up and down. If you're starting to get any of this sort of wobbly or any sort of business, get it straightened back out. From here, I'm gonna press up onto my hand. Now from here, I'm gonna press into my right foot, to do a hip press. I'm gonna pr uh, uh, press nice and stable. We've been doing lots of hip presses over the last couple weeks. You should be good for that. Cool, and I'm gonna take my left leg, I'm gonna tuck it under, create a nice little tripod for myself here. Again, this, this is nice and stable and strong. I have a nice straight line from hand to hand. From here, I'm gonna sit up into a half kneeling position. Again, arm nice and stripping down, lat is still tight and packed. From here, I'm gonna just stand up in my lunge position all the way up. Cool, from there we just go right back down, reverse that. Back down to the knee, out onto your hand, you get your nice strong stable position here. We're gonna untuck into a hip press. Don't forget that hip press, it's very important. From there we're gonna drop our way on down, onto the elbow, onto our back. Cool, okay. So, you're gonna do three of those on your right, and then three of those on your left. That is one round, you're gonna give yourself a little bit of rest. We're doing three rounds of that. Dandy, cool, from here. We're going to have our, our chair. I have a towel on the edge of it just to kind of keep that from hurting my back a little bit. Um, if, the, if that raw edge is on your back, it's not real comfortable. But So we're going to put the base of our shoulder blades, the bottom of our shoulder blades. We're going to go on the edge of the chair here. Right, and then we're going to hit, uh, rotate them on up. From here, we have a hip press position, right, or hip bridge position. So we can press our hips up nice and tall and tight. We're going to try and get as high as we can get, creating some pressure in the glutes, creating some pressure in the lower abdomen. We're going to hold this nice and tight. From here, I have a six second rise, extending my leg out. So I'm just gonna pick my foot up. Let me see if I can turn a little bit here. Pick my foot up, I'm gonna take six seconds to get all the way to the top. Six seconds to get all the way back and down. From there, I'll switch my feet. And again, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000, six, 1,000, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000, six, 1,000, switch, and so on. Cool? <clears throat> We're gonna do 
three reps of that on each side. As soon as you finish your three reps on each side, you're gonna load them up. You're gonna do 20 hip presses. So just drive them all the way to the floor. Again, nice strong core position. We're gonna drive our hips as high as we can, creating pressure in the hips and hamstrings, back and down, or glutes and hamstrings, excuse me, up and back and down, back and down, back and down, and so on. 20 reps. You'll get up to 60 seconds of rest. I prefer closer to 30. You know, if you, if you need to rest a full 60, take it. We have three rounds of that guy. Cool. From there, we'll drop into our hollow hold position. So from our, our hollow hold position, I'm like flat on my back, tipping my hips in a posterior fashion, meaning the fact that I'm tipping them backwards, trying to get my low back flat against the floor. I'm gonna raise my feet just a few inches off the floor. I'm gonna extend my arms up overhead. I like to interlace my thumbs. It just gives me something to pull against so I can create a little bit of extra pressure in my, in my lats and in my arms to keep myself nice and strong. You don't have to do it that way if you don't want to, but I, I prefer it. But anyway, so again, from here, I'm gonna lie on down, get my fingers locked, I'm gonna tip my hips back, lower my feet up, extend my arms, I'm gonna hold this position. Cool? Hold it for 30 seconds. Now, after you've held, held that for 30 seconds, you're gonna drop back down, hands under the tush, tip the hips back again, again, the low back flat against the floor. From there, we have our supine leg lowering. We're gonna raise them up and back and down. We have 45 degrees, back down to a couple of inches, 45 degrees, a couple of inches. Cool, don't let your low back off the floor, right? You should keep that low back flat against the floor. If your back starts to tip up, that means that you're loading into your hip flexors, not loading into your abdomen. And that means that we're uh, compensating with a little bit of body English and some other things like that and trying to use some muscle groups that, uh, they are a little stronger, and we're trying not to make that the case, right? We're heading for that lower abdomen. Cool. So we have, again, 30 seconds to 60 seconds worth of rest. Three rounds of that guy. <clears throat> now, now comes a fun one. This is the one that everybody loves to do. We're going to get into a bottom of a push-up position. In the bottom of our position, we have a four-second extension of our arm and a four-second drawing back of the same extension. We'll switch hands, and then we have four seconds out and four seconds back. But we're doing that from the bottom of our push-up position. So we're holding this isometrically, extending and back and down. So the idea here is I have my, my, uh, my handy dandy um, furniture slider. Again, we've covered this uh, in a couple of other videos. You can use a paper plate. You can use a regular plate. Um, if you're on a hardwood floor, you can actually use a, a sock on one hand and it'll slide nice and easy on the hardwood floor. Any of that sort of stuff, um, get creative. Um, I've had um, uh, members and clients actually send me lots of things that they have used that has worked perfectly. Uh, I think one person used a, the lid of a box and just wrapped packing tape around it, like the, the clear uh, packing tape, and it made it super, super slick. Um, any of those things work. Okay, so from there, top of our position, let's see what's gonna be a better angle here. There we go. My push-up position, I'm gonna drop down to the bottom. From here, I'm gonna extend that out. One, two, three, four, back. Two, three, four, switch hands, back and down. One, two, three, four, back, two, three, four, so on. Cool, one each side. You're gonna do three each side of that. As soon as that's up, you're gonna get into a nice narrow grip, a narrow grip, uh, push up grip position. Elbows are gonna be tucked in towards your body so that our, our arms are scraping towards our body. We're gonna dive into our push ups, cool. From there, we have 10 to 15 push-ups. I'll let you choose how you want to do that. Cool? Three, um, sorry, 30 to 60 seconds of rest, three rounds of that. Um, that's where I'm stopping it at. If you want a little bit of extra juice, um, some people like a little bit of extra sauce on top of that, because that'll take about an hour. Um, my next suggestion would be, if you prefer, you can dive into a little bit of squat action. <clears throat> Holding at the bottom of our squat, our 30 second hold. Cool? Chest up nice and tall and tight. Right, um, I, my abdomen's tucked in tight, knees are drawn out wide, I'm on my heels, so on and so forth. After 30 seconds, then I'm gonna have you drop them in. We're gonna get nice and close, right? Hit, uh, feet about hips width apart. From there, again, with a long spine, we're actually gonna do 10 to, I'm uh, sorry, 10 to 15, 10 to 20, excuse me, um, uh, squats with that really narrow stance, right? So dropping down, backing up. That's gonna load a little bit more into the quads for you, right? So boom, boom, boom. Get 20 of those guys up, give yourself 36 seconds of rest, three rounds. Cool. Hope you guys liked it. Have a good day. See you next time.